T-junction connectors, or T-taps, are particularly useful for plug-and-play applications like head unit installations, where the existing wires get tapped into, forming a T. I did not particularly like this kit, which I will recommend despite its shortcomings, and I'll explain shortly why. Let's cover how to reliably connect them, because they can have issues because of how they're made and because of the crimping involved. To properly install, take the tapping, circular end, and press it onto a wire. Press the wire into the cutting metal part from both sides using your fingers. And this is where the first problem occurs. The taps in this kit do not always cut through into the wire, which might cause issues. If it looks like it's almost in, take a small, flathead screwdriver and force it in the rest of the way. Then close the connector. If it didn't even tap the wire at all, pull the wire out, be careful not to rip it, and then press down again and force it in with a small flathead screwdriver. The other end of the T-tap is the player joining the party. That connector, in theory, gets crimped on, but in practice is loose, unreliable, and causes issues. I'll show you the standard way of installing it, and then the new and improved reliable way, standard method. Insert your wire that's getting a tap connector. Using pliers, squeeze down, and the wire should be crimped. Why this stinks. Pull on the wire. In theory, the crimp should be solid. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but doing it this way gave me nothing but problems. The, oh, there it is. Crimped connections. Who did those? Take your T-tap mail connector and remove the metal prong from the housing. Put the housing on the wire. Strip a decent length of wire. With the housing on the wire, yes, you're bound to forget it at least once or twice like I did, wrap the stripped wire around the metal connector and solder it down. Once soldered, push the housing back on and then gently crimp the housing onto that. Now, despite your best pulling, unless the wire rips, that connector is going nowhere. I had to do this fix for the rear camera connectors on both ends and for the fiber optic box connector, and that's been reliable using this method. 